Hi, I'm Julian and I'm that craft guy. The 60s. This was a time of groovy clothes, Beatles music, and lava lamps. Lava lamps were a British invention, a lamp containing blobs of colored wax that rose and fell in a clear liquid in a glass container. Watching the blobs move around was kind of cool. Let's make our own lava lamp. For this project, you will need a clear plastic bottle, vegetable oil or baby oil, food coloring, a funnel, water, antacid tablets, a garbage bag, and a plate. Let's get started. Step 1. Put the plastic bag down to protect your surface area. Then grab your plate as added protection against spills. Now you will need your plastic bottle, some water, and a funnel. Using the funnel, fill your bottle one-fifth full of water. Then fill the rest of your bottle with oil. Leave one-fifth the bottle empty. Give the oil and water a few minutes to separate. I used baby oil in my first bottle, but prepared this one earlier using vegetable oil. This way you can see the difference and how they work for this project. Step 2. Add a few drops of food coloring. I'm using yellow. By putting the coloring in after the oil, we can watch how it reacts with the water and the oil. See how some of it gets stuck between the water and the oil? Step 3. Break the antacid tablets into pieces and drop them into your bottle. Gas bubbles are created when the tablets dissolve in the water, creating our lava blobs. Now let's add some red and see what happens. Now blue. Do not place the lid back on while the tablets are still bubbling. The gas will build up and burst at the cap, making a mess. Ugh. The size of the bottle and the shape of the bottle will affect where the tablets sit and how your blobs are formed. The bottle I used has a bump in the middle, and so the tablets went to the edges, creating more streams than bubbles. The other bottle had a flatter center and compartments all the way around, distributing the tablets a bit better. To add a little wow, you can add some gems or try adding glitter. This isn't just a fun craft idea, it can make a great science project. Compare the effect using different oils, like baby oil, vegetable oil, canola, or olive oil. 
Compare different shapes and size bottles. Try using salt instead of antacid tablets. Adding a flashlight makes your project even more like a real lava lamp. But be careful not to spill the oil or leave the light too close to your bottle for an extended period of time, otherwise it can cause it to melt. You could also try attaching a string to a glow stick and dropping it in. You can also shake, cut, and pour it in. Make sure you get a parent's help, and be sure to wear gloves because it could stain. I hope you had fun making your lava lamp. For printable instructions, go to thatcraftguy.com. For more videos, go to thatcraftguy.com or to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash thatcraftguy1. Have a question? Email me at questions at thatcraftguy.com. Or you want to send your pictures of your finished project? You can send them to gallery at thatcraftguy.com. Thanks for watching.